Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy off day. Did my cat let me sleep in today? She woke me up yesterday at 640 when my clock goes off at 620. But today, when I'm off, she woke me up at 610. Really? Really, Gracie? We need to do better, okay? I need some consistency from you. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize that I sang Bobby Joe McAllister instead of Billy Joe until late yesterday afternoon. I said to myself, Seth, why are people typing Billy Joe? what I said. Isn't that what I had said? So I hit play. And within the first few minutes and I said, Bobby Joe, I was like, you idiot. I got the name of the video right, Ode to Billy Joe, but I sang it as Bobby Joe. But y'all wouldn't expect anything less or more. Am I correct? Yeah, because that's just who I am. I just say the wrong things all the time and I don't even know it. I don't even do it on purpose. Ugh. In other news, when the girls came over a couple of days ago, they had on some sort of divine smelling lotion. Put the lotions on the skin or else you'll get the hose again. And I said, good God almighty. I said, what is that delightful smell? And Naomi said, it's cocoa butter. And I said, no, mm -mm. I've smelled a lot of cocoa butter in my life. And I, there are some good cocoa butters and there Butters. are not some so good cocoa butters. <sighs> Go away, B. Oh, uh, no, Th no. There's another smell in that. that. That other smell is what I need to know. She said, oh, it's got pineapple. I said, oh yeah, that's it. What is it? She said, it's cocoa butter. <sighs> We're not getting anywhere, are we? <laughs> so I sent mom a text and I said, when your children were over, I smelled this delightful smell on them it smelled like pineapple and I need to know what it is because I need to have some for myself. Well, yesterday evening when she got home from work, she went in the house, she grabbed Phoenix and then I just so happened to be looking out the window. Okay, call me Gladys if you want to. It's a beautiful day. I mean, the breeze is so nice. Anyway, focus Tracy. So here they come walking across the street and they're coming up my driveway and I'm like, am I in trouble? <laughs> Did I do something wrong? What is going on? You know, cause when mama comes, she don't come that often. And I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, I'm just kidding. So I go walking out on the driveway and I was like, hey neighbor. And she's handed me this little jar. And I said, oh, is this it? And she said, yeah. And so I said, well, let me take a picture of it because I'm going to order some. And she said, well, that's yours. I said, it's mine? All, all for me? And Phoenix said, you remember the other day when we came over and you kept telling us how good we smelled? And I said, yeah. And she said, that's it. And I said, you mean the day that I wanted to eat you? And I like bent down over and she started squealing and laughing. And I was like, yeah, that's. I texted your mama about it and she said, well, you can order it and I will insert a picture of it and the name of it because obviously just like water, I don't carry it on me. It's, it's not cocoa butter, it's shea butter, which shea butter can also have kind of a weird smell sometimes. But this straight up smells like pineapple, tropical, 
it smells divine. Now, because it's shea butter, it's thick, you know, like, well, if you've ever used shea butter, you know what I'm talking about. So, it's not going to be a body lotion for me. Uh, it's one of those that when you put it on your arm, your hair goes the wrong way and sticks. You know what I'm saying? It's that kind of thick. But it's perfect for your feet and your hands. Mm. Yes, I shall be lathering myself. No, not lathering. That's the wrong word, Tracy. Slathering myself with pineapple shea butter. Mm. But what I may do is take that shea butter and perhaps mix it with some coconut oil and I might order some pineapple essential oil and then I'm gonna whip it and whip it good and then make it into more of a body butter type thing. Well, Penelope has just laid down. I guess we're just done walking here. She's just gonna lay down and enjoy the scenery while I'm talking. That's cool. Um, I, I made some lotion on a video one time. I used shea butter, <clears throat> coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and then essential oils. I think that was all. I have it written down at home. And you whip it and whip it good. No, 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 no. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I may do that because I'm going to be limited on using shea butter just on my hands and feet because I don't like that thickness on my actual skin, don't you know? I mean, I could use it on my neck, on my crepey neck. You, you wanna know something weird? I mean, I tell y'all all the weird things. So, here's another weird thing. When my mother got a crepey neck, I thought it was so pretty. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, oh, I want a crepey neck. I mean, I didn't know it was called a crepey neck, but she was always so tan. Mm, that's which led to the crepey neck. But it was so pretty to me. Mine's not that pretty. I'm like, I want my mom's crepey neck because it was all tan and glorious because she stayed outside all the time. Yeah, I don't stay outside all the time because I don't like being hot. Well, and she, we had a swimming pool. So if she got hot, she would just dip in the pool and get back out and continue working. Now I might could spend more time outside if I had a swimming pool. Swimming pools and movie stars. Anyway, <laughs> I watched the movie The Blind last night. If you haven't seen it, you can rent it. I, I rented mine on YouTube. It was $6. And I think it's a, is it a 30 day rental? Uh, or something? I can't remember. But it's about the Robertsons, the Duck Dynasty people. And about, mainly about Phil when he was running wild and crazy. I'm trying to prop my arm up so my shoulder don't hurt. <laughs> so ignore my crepey neck, okay? Unless you think it's pretty and then whatever. Anyway, it was really good. The Blind. That's it. That's the name of it. The Blind. And it shows his wild side before he come to know the Lord and his drinking and um they're fighting and all that stuff and how he kicked them out and all that. It's really good. So I think most everyone can relate to that family. I think that's why I like them so much, the Duck Dynasty family, because there ain't a one of them perfect. They don't pretend to be perfect and they are not ashamed Oh my gosh, that's the name of their podcast. Oh, I am unashamed. They're not ashamed to tell the gospel. I mean, what more could you want? Am I right? So anyway, that's your movie suggestion, The Blind. Mm. 
but you probably will cry. Perhaps. I did. I may have, uh, you know, my eyes may have leaked some bodily fluids out of them. Okay? That sounded gross. Ugh, Tracy. What am I going to do today? Well, I've got to clean for sure. Kitchen and bathroom are at the top of my list to clean. They're in dire need of a deep cleaning. Mm. And other than that, what do I have to do? Well, I'm going to cook some breakfast items, you know, so that I can get up in the morning and warm it up. So what I used to do is take a pound of sausage and scramble it up, you know, cooking it as it were, and I would take sweet potatoes and I would cut them in teeny tiny little, almost diced size pieces. You want it to be really small. And the very last thing I did would, would be to add eggs and scramble that. And it was just a whole little, uh, yeah, high protein, high fiber because of the sweet potato, right? And I used to have that every morning for breakfast, and I got out of the habit of it. So, I think I'm going to make that today. But, of course, I'll have to change my shirt. Because I don't want to get grease on my good shirt. i got to put on my at-home clothes for that one. Well, I'll probably have to put on my at-home clothes to do all of it. But I do need to run a couple of errands. Though, don't tell Penelope because she'll be so sad that I have to leave. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Anyway, I guess that's going to be it for this one. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. Remember that I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. <coughs> people be crazy. I ran out of air. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which who knows when that will be. Am I right? I could pop up this afternoon or it might be tomorrow. I like to keep things a surprise these days, you know. All right, toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.